What up, what up? Welcome into this edition of the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Saturday night. I am Jamie McCracken, and I know you have already seen the final score today. Kentucky loses in the swamp, but just give me two minutes, and I promise we'll move on to Cumberland's more at stating UVA wise. Roll it, Director Jonathan. Let's go down to Gainesville. The Kentucky Wildcats have been Gator bait for a long time, chomped up and spit out by the Florida Gators for almost three decades. And just like last Saturday, Kentucky started its first possession three and out. Florida's second possession goes 15 plays and it's capped off with this Mark Thompson three yard touchdown run. That ate up seven and a half minutes on the clock. Seven nothing to Gators. Cats, they come back out next possession. Drew Barker looking for Jeff Badette, but Quincy Wilson says, that's my ball, bruh. That interception doesn't help. The Wildcats just start out terrible. Right after the INT, Luke Del Rio wastes no time. Vern Lundquist with the call. Goes deep left side, and the man is open. It's Callaway. He hits him in stride. Callaway. Touchdown, Florida. Antonio Callaway, 78 yards. Good news is the defense was not out there for too long, Kentucky fans. Let's go second quarter. Del Rio steps up this time. The ball is tipped, and it's picked up by Derek Beatty. The one turnover the Kentucky Wildcats forced on the day was a Derek Beatty pick. However, last five minutes of the half, Barker, he gets picked off again on a screen pass. That's when you know things are going horribly wrong. Take another look. I mean, how does this happen? Goodness. Yes, Jalen Tabor just jumps it there. Late third quarter, now 31 to nothing. Jordan Scarlett just follows his blockers. Easy stuff right there. Four-yard touchdown, 38-0 in the swamp. Gets worse in the fourth quarter. Del Rio flares it out to LaMichael P. Ryan. The freshman goes 28 yards for the score. One of four touchdown passes for Del Rio and the Florida Gators. They chomp him up and spit the Cats out again. A demoralizing loss for Mark Stoops and the Football Cats program. Let's go to the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic scoreboard. 45-7, the final in the swamp. Yeah, 30th straight win for Florida over Kentucky. Del Rio's 320 yards passing were Florida's most against an SEC opponent since Chris Leak threw for 322 yards against Arkansas in 2004. You see Drew Barker there. Two pass completions to Kentucky players. He had three pass completions to the Florida defense. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, we definitely need to learn from, you know, what has happened. Um, so, I mean, I kind of agree with Coach Stoops where we don't need to start over completely, but we just need to learn from um, everything that's happened uh, the past two games and the goods and the bads and um, take out both of them and just really learn from them and um, come together as a team. And, uh, you know, I think we can get it turned around for sure. I mean, it's only two games out of uh, – we got ten more left, like you said. So, I'm uh, still very optimistic. Not a lot to say other than we got our butts kicked. There's nothing – there's nowhere – Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. We're in the arena. Time to go to work. That's where we go. We go right back. We look at the film. We look at what we're asking them to do, what we can do. Um, and uh, the players need to look at themselves. Coaches need to look at things and, and uh, see, what, see what we can execute. I know we could play better than that.